Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. We are playing Project Wingman and uh, in VR, which is a little strange because I don't know how to recenter the. Um, let's see. Hold on, just a second. Oh, right. I just need to figure out how to recenter the. Uh, Seat. Is it, uh. Hmm. Oops. Well, wait, hold on. Technical problems. Let me just figure this out. I'm gonna pause it for a bit. Okay, I think I've solved the problem. Uh, it's C or V to recenter. Which is kind of hard since I'm away from my keyboard, but I'm glad I have a little portable keyboard with me. So let me just, uh,. Hopefully the audio is recording properly, because when I alt tab out of the game, the audio stops. But all right, I wish my uh, portable keyboard was backlit, but I think it's C. Yep, there we go. Recentered everything. All right, so let me check the settings here. Which uh, controls? Can I get controls? What's going on with the controls here? Hmm, okay, well, I just want to make sure my controller's working. No, where's my controller? Doesn't work. Okay, that's weird. I want to actually take off my controller. Put it back on. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, up oh, there we go. I saw it. Don't know what happened to it. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know where my controller went. Is it around here somewhere? I have no idea. But, well, you know what? I do have a keyboard next to me, so let's just get started with a campaign. No, I lost focus. Oh, come on. There it is. All right. So let me just try a bit of free flight here in VR. I don't know what's going on. Sure, why not? <laughs> That's fine. Any mission. I just want to uh, actually try it out. Oh, that worked. Okay. Uh, return back. No. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Launch. Just want to try out this VR mode. Before I get into an actual mission, get my, uh, you know, get a little uh, practice time in. All right, cool. All right. So all my control bindings still work. Guns, missiles. That was pretty cool. Can I go outside of the cockpit? I can. <laughs> well, you know. Just don't move around too much. I have a nice 360 degree view with the headset. Oops. Need to, uh... And again, I'm really glad I don't get motion sick from this stuff, so I can do all sorts of stuff with the, uh, flying. Do like barrel rolls. That's fun. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. So all the control bindings still work. 
Just the menu is a little hard to get uh, get around with the uh, controller. All right, let's actually, you know what? Let's. Okay. Uh... Yes, there we go. Pointing your little uh, laser dot is kind of it's kind of hard in this mode, but <laughs> but let's actually. Um... Okay, that seems to work now. My controller seems to work. That's that's great. Let's actually try playing something. Sicario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but well, let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down, based on what info has been leaked out. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia is a nation along North America's western seaboard, one of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but I hear it's beautiful. A country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, but I'm sure this hits closer to home for some of you. Moving along. There's a communications blackout both in and out of the country. And as far as the international news goes, nothing is going on except a few riots. Based on the mercenary networks, however, that is a complete lie. A full-blown conflict is proceeding. We've reached out and we're given a rendezvous by a Cascadian group called the Independence Force. The main anti-Federation group recognized by the national government. I presume the Federation has the borders on lockdown to stop people like us from coming in. So stay on our toes. If we get found out by a patrol, we'll send one of our flights off to take care of them. Sicario is moving northwest towards a rendezvous point set by Cascadia's independence force. We don't expect any heavy resistance given our route of ingress. However, each of our fighter groups will be pulling shifts to preserve fuel and ammo. Hitman team, you will be responsible for the last leg of the journey, which will take us over into Cascadia proper. Be prepared to intercept border patrols. I know some of you might not be too enthused to be fighting the Federation, so I invite you to leave with what you have of your contract. You'd only slow us down. All right. Oh man, this is bad. I gotta scratch my eye. Hold on. Uh... All right, that's good. <laughs> Well, did you notice that though? When uh, in the briefing, if you tilted your head, the uh, the words tilted along with you. So <laughs> that was kind of a uh, funny. All right, let's check out some files here. Hey, we got some stuff I can read. Kind of hard to read in uh, VR though, so can't do too much about that. I can drag this down. Oh, this is going to be really hard. <laughs> All right, well, you know, let's not read. Let's actually play the game. Uh, I'll start the mission. See if we can buy something. Cannot be sold. Uh, let's see. 6,800 credits. You know what? Let's buy it. There we go. We bought it. I don't have enough uh, cash for the MIG. Or the uh, whatever. Um, hold on. Wait, hold on. This is really hard to... Uh... Okay, selecting SP weapon. So I have three. I already have... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I am pack standard missiles. Yes. All right. Anti ground. UGBS three triple volley. Drops in triplicate. Higher ammo count and faster reload rate. Large explosive radius. I'll just go stick with the standard UGBS. And anti-air. Okay. 
multi-lock anti-air missiles. Lower than average tracking performance. Semi-active. You know what? I'm going to go for the MLAA. Oh, scheme one. We got some flares. And let's go. Ooh, okay. Wait for the game to load. Oh, that... That text is really hard to read from my headset. <laughs> uh, needs to be a little closer, maybe. But, uh, yeah, let's start. Oh, yeah. Oops, that's not the right button. That's great. Hold the cycle target button to lock up. Oh, lock the camera on the target. They're behind me all this time. I see him. I still see him. There he is. I got him. I got him. Got him. Nice. Where's the other guy? There you are. Ooh, oops, somebody launched a missile at me. Uh, launch flares. Come on, come on. Ah, damn. Ah, come on, I just need to line it up. Ah. Nice. Target right here. Use the gun. Oh, so close. Get off me. Got him. Next one. There he is. There he is. I see him. Got him. Next target. There he is. I see him. Need good tone. Nice. Got a couple more targets over there. Accelerate. Increase speed. <laughs> this is great. This is actually pretty good on VR. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I missed. Need a break. Come on. Oops. Did he disappear? What happened there? Oh, there he is. What's going on? I can't target him. Flares. I can't target these guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, did I... No wonder. I switched accidentally to the uh, unguided bombs. Launching missile. Ah, oh, come on. I missed. A little bit of hit there. Come on. Nice. I see ya. Nice, nice. Next one. This guy right here. Ah. Gotta get up behind him. Launching missiles. Nice, good job. All right. Monarch, you're locked on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get him with a gun. Boom, baby. Too far, too far. I need to get closer. Performing these high G maneuvers, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get him with a gun. Got a hit. Come on, come on. Get that crosshair on him. Oh, this guy is just nice. Nope, they're closer. Got a nice lock on these guys. Boom. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, nice. I think I got him with a gun. Oh, 
come on, where are you? It's over here. Ah, oh, just right up, right below him. Oops. Didn't work. I need to get him with a gun. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, yeah, come on. Get over here. A little bit of hit. There we go, there we go. Need to line it up. Oops. I really need to, uh, not hit the R3 button. Good job, good job. Whoever shot that missile. Oh man, he's too slow. I need to slow down. Yes! On him. Nice, good job. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oops, I got missiles on me. Slow down. There we go. Got him in my sights. This is almost cheating. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe it's because I'm on normal. It might be a little harder if you put it on a... Oh, come on. No, no, no missiles. Right here, this guy, right here. Oops. Oops, hey, hey, hey. Just a couple more hits. I got it, I got it. Let me just focus on this guy. Hold on. Okay, that was close. Just got a little bit more to take this guy out. There we go. Got him. Dropping flares. Nice. Got him. Come on, come on, come on. Fox two, Fox two. High value target now. Got him. We just lost contact with blue squadron's flight in this area. Oh, God. Advise disengagement. We've got eyes on the perpetrators. Owing to smoke flights, we can take him. All right.
Just need to get this crosshair on him. Boom, got him. Here we go. We got a good target right, right here. Nice juicy target right here. Alright, let's get a little bit of guns in here. Oops, stall warning. Get out of me. <laughs> Get out of me. Get out of here. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Are those uh, gonna hit? Miss, I need to go down. All right, all right, all right. Is it above the plane? Oh, there we go, oops. See what I'm supposed to do now. Break. Got it. Ooh. Stop with all these missiles. Damn. had him. There you are, I see ya. Goodbye. <laughs> Just too far ahead. Hold on. Kill confirmed. Hold on. <laughs> I keep hitting the R3 button. To make sure your airspeed is slightly above stall speed, brake once you have touched the ground, come to a complete stop. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay, 
right, let's see if I can land this thing. <laughs> I see the strip. All right, let's uh, slow down our airspeed here. Okay, we're getting close. Getting close. We need to get closer. All right, we're getting there. Flare, flare, flare. Lead stop. Well, that was uh, pretty good. Bam. Landing complete. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this is really good in VR. Thanks to your efforts, Sicario was able to rendezvous with our contact and refuel for the mission ahead. You'll be heading back out within the hour, so stay on your toes, or else your time in Cascadia will be short-lived. Alright. Uh, let me just check out my stats here. 18 kills. Look at that. <laughs> Air cruiser. Oh, wow. Got some money for that. Look at that cash right there. Those, those credits. 9,500. Plus a little bonus. All right, let me just uh, pop an achievement here. No borders, okay, cool. And we're just gonna skip this for next time. But yeah, this is the uh, VR mode for Project Wingman. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a little performance intensive. There is a little bit of slowdown. I don't know if you saw that in the video, but, uh, but I mean, you know, it's, it's just a lot of particles and you know, all this stuff happening at once. It's understandable, but it is pretty good, although I can see the border of that map. I think that's the border, right? Uh, whatever. Uh, like I said, it's still pretty good, and it's it's kind of a lot easier in VR, <laughs> to be completely honest with you guys. Just the way you can track targets in the air without having uh, a camera locked or, you know, a camera uh, that's like, um, you know, set it's just, it, it's, via, you know, just having that sort of, like, ability to to look around while you're flying is just, it's it's a lot easier. And I can see why a lot of people uh, would probably, uh, <laughs> probably kind of, uh, well, I don't know if the VR was available in, um, in multiplayer in Ace Combat 7, but uh, if there was a multiplayer here, you know, because I, I, I've heard that in squadrons, the people with VR kind of get an advantage because, you know, they can look around. But uh, hopefully it wasn't too nauseating for you guys. I kind of did a lot of maneuvers there that uh, would probably make anybody throw up. But again, I'm one of those people that uh, does not get motion sickness. Um, so. <laughs> uh, but it was pretty fun. I, I really do think the VR component in this in this game is is really good. Again, a little performance intensive. You, I think you might... Uh, well, you know, I mean, you probably would have a pretty powerful computer, uh, powerful enough if you have a VR headset like me, but you know, I'm on the lower end. So there was a little bit of a, uh, you know, slow down a bit, but that's just, my hardware is pretty crappy to begin with. So, well, not that crappy, but it's, you know, it's not a 380 or a 38, uh, 3080 or whatever, <laughs> whatever new, new graphics cards they're coming up with. I'm still stuck with one from 2017, 2018. <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the, the VR mode for Project Wingman, and um, I like it a lot. I think I might play more of it if uh, if I have the energy to, because, uh, again, I have to set up all this stuff. And uh, after I'm done with this, I probably have to move back my electronic drum kit so I can unblock the door so I can get out of my room. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Now that's about it for today, and uh, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>